Pop radio, intellectual radio, iHeart radio. Tune in, and every week we'll have something different for you. Show more impressive pain. We are back on Pop Radio, Intellectual Radio, iHeart Radio. That was Shorty by my boy Donnie G featuring G Give Money. Banger that is now on Intellectual Radio, iHeart Radio, Pop Radio. You know, that's the, that's that's how we do it around here. Artist by that of the week, uh, special guest, models of the week, and uh, hot, hot models. topics. Yeah, hot models. <laughs> but this week we got a hot topic. You know, um, Debbie joined uh, the cold force. Debbie has always had my back, but always. Debbie has made and it. Forever. And I love you for that. But Debbie made it a responsibility, I guess, to herself to take on a little bit more and be around Pop a little bit more when she has her. And I really, like I told you, I, said, I really love you and appreciate you. Uh, Thank you Pop. Appreciate you Thank for you that. More. I know you got your own business, so to take out time, well, you know, from your own business to come. To somebody else's business that means a lot to me so she's joined forces with me and uh i've always had her back so i'm gonna see how we can keep this show about awareness empowerment education and culture still have beautiful models of the week but make it more powerful so i gotta give the lady something i can't just get a guy as the models every week uh we're gonna talk about something that hit home uh, hard, uh, which is domestic violence. You know, uh, first of all, I'm gonna start this topic. Mm. Let's make this uh, some noise for this topic. And I think she can talk about it. So, a lot of people, you know, I try to take a season off here and there because, number one, I'm an artist and I don't want everybody to know me publicly like that. I'm kind of exclusive. I don't pick up the phone for everybody. I don't open everybody's inbox. And uh, I wish I had an A&R, but I am the A&R. I am the artist. I am the repertoire. I've signed my own deals. I've signed my own bookings, my tours, my distribution deals. So, you know, I don't need managers. I could put some people and teach them how to manage, you know. You could manage. Yeah, so, you know, and I'll probably want now. Nah, that's too much, too many divas in the industry for me for that. But I'll probably retire doing this right here. So, y'all, you know, then I'll maybe be a little bit more public. But uh, whoever watched me growing up before I came to intellectual uh, radio knows that I came to intellectual radio as being... Uh, a world award-winning poet and uh, getting nominated to go to I went to Hollywood for the Rick Ross Awards and this that and the other but Earl seen some talent in me the owner of the radio station shout out to Earl Winfrey who is not with us today Earl, oh the pearl but it is what I'm really trying to say that I was incarcerated for a while but before my incarceration uh, I was a 15 year old kid uh, who watched my mom deal with some tough um, domestic violence, you know? And uh, I don't want to put all the blame as being a 15-year-old kid and a bad stepdad who even used to whoop me not being my own dad with uh, leather belts and extension cords. And even some of the things I used to write about now when I think about them lines is, is some of the poetry. Uh, Prince of Pain, you know, the name and pop came from writing about pain. And a lot of that pain was not only from the prison, but from maybe the abuse of a stepfather. You know, no, not maybe, but yes. And that that led to uh, gangs and street violence that led me to, you know, doing 19 and a half years in the penitentiary. So uh, I grew up around domestic violence. You know, I grew up where it was no Internet or none of that, where... Uh, the law wasn't so hard if you whooped your kids, so people took advantage of that. You know what I'm saying? Um, domestic violence is uh, something that to me is very weak. That's for a coward. And uh, as tough as whoever might think that I am, I know that me putting my hands on a female uh, don't make me tougher. It actually makes me a coward. You know, so... Um, I wanted to bring this topic up. Uh, we do have a number for a hotline. If you're involved, my message is, my mind, if you're involved in one of them kind of relationships, get you some help. Get away from it. Um, 
in this kind of situation, I hate to say it, and everybody knows I did 20 years for keeping my mouth closed, and I am not a stool pigeon. Uh, but tell, call the police. If he whooping you, call the police. Right. You know, he shouldn't be whooping you. That's some coward stuff, you know, so, you know, whatever you got to do, man, we got a number for our line that Rachel has. Um, it's 877-955-5247. Uh, it's a safe helpline. Safe helpline, Illinois. If you need some help, ladies, you know, you you can't talk to some. I mean, uh, there's no one you can talk to. You need to get away from this situation. And sometimes it's easier to reach out, you know, to a helpline like this and talk to yeah. people that are on the outside and don't personally know you or your family or your situation. Um, but it's definitely resourceful, you know. They can give you information and help bring you safety, and that's most important, especially if you have children or you have other family members that are involved. Um, but I, it's something, I think it's something important for women to understand that there is help. You know, you don't have to stay quiet, and you don't have to just keep taking it. A lot of people are scared to talk about it. They're scared to be judged. And so I feel like a lot of women just deal with it and deal with it. And then, too, like you said, you grew up in a home like that. Sometimes the kids grow up and they're just so used to being around that kind of stuff that, like, they think it's normal. A lot of people think that's normal. Maybe then, yeah. Maybe I, I, back then, for a while, yeah, I thought it was normal or something that she was too afraid to get away from. Where it, it was either I stay there and accept it. Or just walk away. And when I was young and I did kind of walk away. I walked away to the streets, you know. And that's scary. Walking away can be scary, too. Because, mm. you know, you don't know what's on the other side of that either. But it, there's hope out there. Yes. Don't yes. settle. And, you know, don't subject yourself to that. There's there's better. There's and if hope. you're a youngster, you're 15 years old, and your mama getting whooped, you can call me. I promise. You can call me. <laughs> Hit me up, any social media. If it's that bad, uh, sis or little bro, and mama getting her hands whooped like that, I mean, uh, I'm grown. I know how to make phone calls. I know a lot of people in the city, just like a lot of people. You don't know. Yeah, so reach out for cares. help. People you know, care. reach there out for help. Reach out for help. You know, sure. Debbie. Uh, yes. This I know here hits home with you. Um, not too long ago, you want to share a story of the lady that. Um, yeah, there's um, a girl that I met, I'm not going to mention her name, but she was recently um, deceased, and she came into our club, and I hung out with them. I really, Her and I just had this instant energy together, and it was amazing, and she's such a great person. But what these abusers don't realize, and it's not just women that get abused. I know men get abused, too, but come on, mostly 99.9% .9 it's women, is she, um, you know, we went to a concert. We went to Wiz Khalifa, and... Uh, French Montana concert. I thought we were having a great time and they were supposed to hook up with us and the next thing I know she's missing. She, and I'm texting her and she's not texting me back and then I find out, you know, that she was, they found her dead, chopped up in a suitcase, put in a forest preserve. I mean, this, this girl had two kids, you know, and Rachel, Rachel has four kids and she just recently got three teeth knocked out and big bump on her head and, you know, pushed around and and these, these guys are much bigger than these girls, you know? I mean, they don't realize that they're not just hurting that girl. They're hurting the kids. They're hurting the mothers, the fathers, the sisters, the brothers. They're hurting so many people. Right. You know, if you get that mad... I don't even have sisters, you know what I'm saying? I, yes, I, you know... You if know, you get yeah. that mad that you want to hit somebody, take a walk. Go take a breather. Walk away. You're, you're going to be thoughts. better off because... You know, being in jail and hurting all those lives and people is not going to get you anywhere, anywhere you want to be. And, you know, I honestly feel that Rachel probably would have ended up on the sidewalk somewhere, thrown off a building if so, if somebody didn't see her all battered and beat up and, and stopped it. You know, I, I mean, it's just, it's that crazy. And then Chrissy, who's here, she also was in... Um, you know, Chrissy could probably hold her own. You want to speak on that, Chris? You want to talk about it? Go ahead. Oh, well, she's sorry, even crying, baby. see? Why well, won't you to grab the mic now, baby? Talk to me, sis. Grab the mic. Get you over there emotional. She said that you had, No, you got your brother here. You can talk to me, you know? Yeah. Give me some tissue. Anybody got tissue up here? Tissue. Tissue. It should be on the... You know, you and Chrissy has three kids. Some tissue real quick in the back. Go on the you know, mask. And then the kids get jeopardized. She you know? says it's something here. Okay, give me it's some back. It's behind on my thing. Give me some tissue. But, but uh, 
Yeah, I don't even think I want to. Just, yeah, get that, yeah. sis. You're cool. You know, I mean, you Chrissy, right, baby? Chrissy was yeah. getting punched okay. at. You know, I mean, she's being threatened now by DCFS that they're going to take the kids away. I mean, wh what person wants to do this to your kids? And These are your kids. It's so tragic because you just mentioned that right now, and it can spiral into so many different things. You know, it starts off with with the abuse and the battery and then because you got kids it starts spiraling into dcf and whatnot and it just becomes such a mess and i feel like that too is why people don't want to open their mouth and talk about it or say anything about it just because it's like it has a snowball effect it becomes so messy and such a this goes to all my friends if you support if you know one of your buddies whooping this girl you condoning it bro that's oh, that's that's, goodness, that, yes. that, that's that's you know i tell my guy man you I, no, you know, so again, ladies, if you got to call the call to police, release, you got to dial 911. Do it. Do what you got to do, man. That's weak. Do it because it could be too late. You no, know, like. that's weak. I'd rather, yeah, I'd rather them set a couple of nights locked up for a couple of days and do some push ups and, you know. Uh, and maybe that, that's what some of them need to you know, be locked up and checked, put away because you know? they're out here acting like animals. I think some of them do need to be put away for some time. Yeah, until so they run into some animals. <laughs> I like, I love it. You know, it's mental though. You say why? Mental abuse. Mental, mental. Yeah, yeah, a lot so, of it is. It's like when you're going through the abuse, but then you're you're going through the mental abuse too. So you, they just got a lot. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then you try to go back and you're, oh yeah, you're gonna fix it. Oh, you are gonna do better. You could keep believing in someone more than they believe in themselves, and it, it just drowns you. Sister, you need you mm -hmm. all my sisters up in the building right now. Um, don't let no dude make y'all feel insecure in no kind of way. Don't let none of them pray off none of your insecurities. Uh, don't even let them know too much of your insecurities. If a dude ain't paying your bills, he ain't making sure you and your shorty straight, he's just another dude. You know what I'm saying? So just act wiser, man. Feel more confident about yourselves and uh, don't let don't let no man put his hands on you, man. You know, and that's my topic of the a day as far as that's concerned. If anybody else wants to say anything on domestic violence, you know, uh, Chris, you do uh, you do makeup as well too, right? Yes, I'm Debbie's makeup artist. Do me a favor, give them a drop and all that, cause I want I mm -hmm. want them to be able to find you uh, tonight. If they oh, want, my Instagram uh, is simply underscore like underscore is simply underscore inspiring. So Chrissy's are. Uh, is that how they said moi? Is that how they do the makeup work? <laughs> she's our artist moi. I mean, she's our spotlight moi of the week here at Pop Radio. And so let's make some. Uh, Making everybody beautiful. Um, I'm gonna take a little music break after all that. You hear me? I'm gonna get some hugs during music break. We need some love. And love yourself. Love, love yourself. Yes. Most importantly. Yes. yes. Uh, anything else? Yeah, y'all. Uh, you guys want to add real quick before I take us to music break? About that, give them the number again. We need more Wait, love, so. love, love, love. If you can't That's give love, walk break. away. So if you're in Illinois and you just need to reach out, you need help, or you need someone to talk to, don't be scared. Dial eight seven seven nine nine five five two four seven. A real quick sponsors. Let me uh, shout out to my sponsors real quick. Uh, we got Chicago League Alliance. We got Avent's Printing. We got All Out Clothing and Apparel. Edifying Graphics. Street Level Youth Media, Ocean's Gentlemen's Club, Revise Empire, in Fontana, California, for all your insurance needs. Uh, Cannon Montana, J Photography. Uh, I also want to send a shout out to Chicago Latin Music, Chicago Street TV. We're going to be right back after this little music. So I'll pay you until I show you how Like a championship. You wanna move? 